And uh, we're chapter two now. So we're just outside of Valentine. Uh, I think I said strawberry in the other episode. I was recording a couple of the parts of the other chapter, but then uh, we crashed and I was uh, getting through that introductory chapter earlier last night and uh, got that all done. So uh, this will be a really quick stream. And uh, so I got some stuff to do. I just wanted to update that. So let's get a trim. And that's about it. I don't really can't trim my hair. I put I don't got no uh, hair cream. So uh, yeah, we're at the camp, chapter two. We'll walk around, check things out. If you're in the camp, usually there's you can talk to everyone, and check things out. You can do chores. Uh, so if I went over here, say you can go over to the <clears throat> chopping block, and then you Good can morning. do some chores, and that'll increase your status. Being a good guy. And we'll chop the block here. Nice views. Very good views. The graphics are nice. We'll do a bit of chores. And then I'll probably cut this as a really quick episode. Um, I won't stream everything. Um, just once in a while when I'm up to it, I will stream what I'm working on, keep people updated, finish this chore, and I'll give you a view of what percentage we're in. Um, as I've said before, just to update you, you can see the PC specs in the comments below. This is a Red Dead Redemption run. I played before, but I did a new run, and so yeah. Increase a little bit the honor. Got some information about Deadeye. Okay, so we're at level two. Let's you know that how to uh, increase your Deadeye by doing good deed, uh, doing chores, trick shots, hunting, crafting, and all sorts of other stuff will uh, improve your Deadeye. Uh, one trick uh, in the menus, if you're deep in the menus, you just hit escape and hold it, you back right out. Um, so. Yeah, that's about it. The other things, like if you hit the Alt key, you can choose between a smaller or expanded or a regular or no compass. I'm a fan of the expanded compass. Um, yeah, that's that's about it here for today. There's those chores and some others. I'll run around and do some other things. You should always talk to our man Pearson. You can... Uh, Check what there are for crafting upgrades. You know, I'd like to upgrade my satchel, but this is all locked. I need to bring stuff back for him. Um, I don't have the thing, so probably one of the first things I'm going to start doing right away is go out and do some hunting. There's also some gold bars that you can go and find. There's one actually close to this camp. And then farther up north, there's a little cave you can go in and get three gold bars. And those are worth 500 gold each. So that makes a big deal. Uh, looks like I'm doing okay with 200 gold already. Um, that's important. You're going to need gold for a lot of things. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, in here. Somewhere, I can't remember where it was, but I read the ideal amount to deposit is 20 bucks. So each time you do a deposit, it does increase your honor. But I read somewhere that 20 was the kind of ideal amount. Uh, instead of like dropping in 100 or something, just do it five times, 20. So I'll put 20 in there. Don't have access to the ledger yet. Uh, you can look at that later. It comes, it comes available a little later. You can walk around camp, talk to all the people, um, etc. Set up your... Uh, your clothing uh, layout so I already did that I'm wearing 
that outfit, uh, the Grizzlies, and then I've also got the Winter and the Gunslinger. Actually, I'm gonna switch to put... I'll take that off and I'll put the, the Summer Gunslinger on the horse. One thing that's new, I think, since the last time I played, is this uh, weapon locker. I've, I read about it, but I'm not sure what it is. So it looks like you can store some stuff in your locker. And that's a good idea, because um, one thing I noticed in other playthroughs, you just got so many weapons. <laughs> it was just, it was hard to find the right one, because if you get too many weapons, um, you end up having to scroll through them all. And then people were saying, just don't pick up extra weapons, because then you got to scroll through them all. So this is kind of cool. I like that. It also lets you take a look at the condition of your weapons, so that's pretty cool. One thing I should take a look at is... Um, talismans, because I know... Yeah. So I should definitely, say, put that one on. This came because I got the, uh, the included uh, in the premium edition, or whatever the extra edition is. So that gives me an extra five seconds of eagle eye, which is pretty cool. So we'll leave that on and make that even visible. So that'll probably be it for this playthrough. Um, hope people uh, are interested. Drop some stuff in the chat, some comments down below. And uh, I will continue my playthrough. I won't be streaming everything like I said before, but I'll stream once in a while just to let people see what I'm doing. All right, thanks everyone, and uh, have an excellent evening, morning, afternoon.